split plot design of experiment so in a split plot this is this primarily this design comes from agriculture field you know uh, when you have restriction in you don't have much land you want to test um, um, a whole lot of things so and sometimes it's difficult to randomize for example the irrigation method sometimes it's difficult to control the irrigation method in neighboring plots for example i have this big uh, plots so these are my big plots i have four uh, big plots big plots in this statistical jargon is called whole plots the same thing as whole plots so i have these four um, big plots or whole plots um, and then uh, imagine that i want to test the irrigation method so the irrigation method um, to so i have two let's say two irrigation method uh, imagine that's factor a i have two levels of that so irrigation method one and then irrigation method two i have these two uh, irrigation method one irrigation method uh, let's type at a1 a2 and then i don't have enough plans so what i can do is i can i can do the irrigation um, in this entire plot and then i can split them into half and then apply uh, different fertilizers so that's why it's called these are called the split plots so i i split this whole plot into two so that's why it's called a split uh, a split plots so I split them into half, each of these plots. So in a split plot, let's say I'm testing fertilizer. Fertilizer, different types of fertilizer. Let's say fertilizer B, I have two levels of that. B1, uh, B2, we want to test that. So if I randomly assign irrigation method, let's say I, I randomly pick either one or two, let's this one get, let's say two, irrigation method two. Let's say this one also get, uh, two and then this one gets one let's say this one gets one so i randomly pick and then uh, randomize the irrigation method like that and then i randomly pick the fertilizer and that i apply either of these split plots so this one gets a two and either it gets fertilizer type one or fertilizer type uh, two so that's a two let's say B2. So if I just randomly, this one get A2, A2, let's say fertilizer, this one get uh, B2, this one gets B1, and then this one gets A1, irrigation method, A1 irrigation method, and then fertilizer B2, fertilizer B1, let's say A1, A1, this one get B1, uh, B2, or B2, B1, like that. So um so th these are my um irrigation um uh, different irrigation methods so if you can see that this whole plot was randomized when we apply the irrigation method in whole plot it was randomized one way and then the split plot was randomized so there was two randomization going on here so to calculate um you, you can see uh, that the whole plot factor is actually nested under these big plots so if we can if we try to write the model it would look something like this so the uh, the whole plot factor alpha and it is nested under um, nested under whole plot and then the split plot factor gamma that is in this case the whole plot factor alpha that's the irrigation method irrigation method and then the split plot factor is the fertilizer type of fertilizer fertilizer and then the whole plots are nested within the whole plot factor so if we if we write this model like this this is exact exact same model as the repeated measure design or partly nested design they're kind of same so if you can develop the um, expected mean square and also their correct f statistics um, however um, the repeated measure comes from primarily medical um, psychology human factor fields so they get kind of uh, different different name split plot comes from the agricultural field 
yeah, gets different name, but their uh, models, uh, their 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 F statistics, they are kind of very similar.